The ISO is not something that is available in all modes. And because I like setting the ISO, the ISO does affect image quality quite a bit. A lower ISO will get you a very nice clean image and a high ISO, while it does make the camera more sensitive to the available light, eliminating the need for flash and or increasing the shutter speed so you can handhold the camera. It also increases the amount of noise in the picture or the amount of grain. So unless I absolutely have to use a high ISO, I like to keep my ISO at 80 to make sure that I always get the cleanest, smoothest image possible. To do so, I use the program mode. The ISO is not adjustable in the auto mode. So set your mode dial to P for program. And just press the quick menu button right here. Hold that down for just a second until the menu comes up. And then move over. Make sure that your intelligent ISO is turned off. So I'll go up. This gives me access to the ISO setting. And if I move over, I can go down and choose a higher ISO. I can also set it to auto, which again, because I like to make sure that it's set to 80, I don't use the auto ISO very often at all. So I'll just keep going down and 80 ISO is right there. Once I've set the ISO to 80, then I can just move over to the left to set the white balance, for example, or any other menu item that I want to change. And once I'm done changing my menu items, then I can just press the quick menu button down or press the set button to escape the menu. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.